Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you see this at. Either way, you'll get the gist. Yeah. Um, this guy, if you don't know, he's Clayton Freed. I'm Matt, Blessed Performance. Yes. You're on the Blessed Performance channel, maybe even the Freed YouTube channel. Who knows? Everywhere. That being said, uh, we're here to talk about these new CSC billet, dummy plug, and top half of a standpipe. What's the point? We'll test it out. So we're going to find out, right? Yeah. Okay, so John over at CSC went viral on TikTok for these guys right here. And I'm excited to test them out and find out. Let's see what they do. So general, the best way to explain this is your dummy plug. What does it do, Clayton? Just a uh, dummy plug, pretty much. <laughs> it literally stops the flow of oil from leaving the oil rail on the front side. Just because you can swap the oil rails from each side, so. Yes, essentially that's what this is for. Well, that's replaced completely zero O-rings, which I agree, that's awesome. So John is, is, has told us that he has tested this on a lot of trucks and that he would like to work with us to test it on ah, Mr. Freed's truck here. He yeah, gets to be the dummy. <laughs> the test dummy of the dummy plug. Test dummy of the dummy plug in a half of a standpipe. Yeah. So essentially he's figured out the tolerances and tied the oil rail to not have to use an O-ring. He sends out some Loctite with these and he suggests putting a small amount of Loctite where your O-rings would go, which would be right here and right here at the bottom. You need to use some Loctite and torque to OEM specs. Right there, okay? Go ahead and hold on to that bad boy. That replaces the stomach plug. Don't need that. <coughs> Don't need that? <laughs> Don't need that. Now, I'm gonna probably struggle to pull this apart. Yeah, I did. What this portion is supposed to do is replace, hang on to that for me please, sir. Okay the top half of your standpipe. So what you want to do is with your oil rail off, lube up and install the bottom half, and then, which you're probably not gonna fight this as hard as I am. Yeah, that's on there good. Yeah, that is. There you go. Popped right out. Got her popped out. So what you'll do is, and this is what John recommends, okay? And so lube up and install this bottom portion as normal before you put the, stand, or the oil rail back on, okay? Obviously this doesn't work for the 03 to 04 guys. 04 and a half plus. <clears throat> Install this bad boy, put your oil rail on, slide this down inside of there. Now the tolerance is, and you can't really see that here, but I can tell you that's snug. Is it as snug as what I just pulled out? No. We are going to find out if this truck builds high pressure oil. That's what we're doing. Yeah. We're testing. We'd rather exactly. test on our own truck. It's snug enough to seal, I can say that. But obviously it's not as tight as that one was no. because there is no O-ring in there. So we're, using, too, so we'll we're using a set of PPE standpipes and dummy plugs. So in the driver's side, which yeah, normally the driver's side is easier to take apart. Well, not on this truck because it's been hacked all apart. It's got <laughs> big injectors and turbo and all that other fun stuff. So we don't need no stupid air conditioner no. or heater. No, no Heaters heater. are for weenies at negative 30. Yeah, you don't need that shit. <laughs> So what we've got installed in Clayton's truck right here is this bottom half of this, the standpipe and we're going to, just like we do the dummy plug, put some green Loctite right there and right here, thread it in and torque it to OEM specs. OEM specs should be like 50 foot pounds if I recall correct. And we're going to find out if it works. And it does have um, the spring and the check ball in here so you, your high pressure oil rolls now. <coughs> Essentially, we could make this a high flow by removing that stuff, blah, 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 yep. But that's not really what we're worried about. What we're worried about is if this is going to make your six liter more reliable. Essentially, what this means is you will have one O-ring in the standpipe and dummy plugs. You still have high pressure oil rail ball tubes. Mm -hmm. We suggest H -H HHC for that. That is the best on the market. And oh, yeah. we've never seen an HHC fail to date. Not going to wood. Uh, we're going to move forward with getting these installed. Realistically, they install like OEM. Make sure that right here where your O-rings would be, that you use the supplied Loctite with them. Loctite here, Loctite here, thread it in. From there, John is stating he has 10, 15 trucks in his local area that he's been testing this on for quite some time that have had zero sealing issues. So we're gonna find out. This truck will be out getting rowdy oh, yeah. at the next few shows that we go to. I'm gonna try to get this up in the next couple days so that way you guys can see if it fails, you'll know, and we'll know, and we'll share that with you. We're excited to find out because we like to test things out and see what happens. Oh yeah, like try new things. And I hope it works. Like I truly oh, yeah. do. This would be an awesome upgrade. Yeah, sure, they're going to be a little more expensive, but this would be a great upgrade to a possible solve it forever fix. Yeah, get rid of three O-rings. Quite a few of them. Yeah, three. One, two, three, and then four, five. 
Four or five, yeah. That's five O-rings gone. So five leak points could be solved with these guys right here. We're under the hood. We're gonna just give a quick one more tutorial about installation. Now, in the package comes some green Caterpillar Loctite. It's the Bapple build, right, Clayton? Mm-hmm. In the package <sighs> comes some green Loctite. Unfortunately, UPS was not kind to ours. So the only recommendation we have for John is to uh, make sure that stuff doesn't leak. That being said, um, we're gonna use blue because experience tells me the blue is gonna work just as good as the green. So, ah, damn it. All right, we'll be right back. Uh, we gotta tighten up the oil rail before we do this. Yep, we're gonna go that way out. If you would like to, sure. So there's some of that, and there's some of that right there. Now you want to take and spin that around a little bit and kind of like just make sure it spreads all the way around just enough So there's always going to be a very it's talking I'm, John tells me it's like a ten thousandths of maybe even twenty thousandths very minimal. No less than ten thousandths Very minimal of a difference in the clearances and we're using the PPE Standpipe to test that as well. He's tested it with a Ford. I don't recall him telling me he tested it with a PPE one, so we're gonna find out. Yeah, he says it'll work with anything, so we'll find out. We're gonna find out. Hopefully, I don't fall off here. You do need a 13 millimeter chrome socket. You gotta kind of get it forced into that standpipe just a little bit. Did it get started yet? Nope. I don't think so. Then. We're not lined up, I promise you. That's what I was worried about. This is going to be a fun one. This could be a pain in the butt to install, folks. We're showing you the raw footage, so you know what you're going to run into. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're learning as we're doing this. Uh, I didn't ask John for any instructions, just so you guys know. The agreement was we would make some content, show folks how to do this. So Clayton's going to tighten up his oil rail real quick. Because when we're tightening this up, it's just pushing the oil rail out. Well, it kind of makes sense. If you saw when I was putting that together, it was kind of snug into the standpipe. Why don't you put that 20 millimeter at? Don't recommend doing it with electric tools unless you know what you're, you've done this about a nine million times. It's a very quick way to strip things. And you always want to make sure you start every single oil rail bolt before you use an electric impact. And do it very slow, as you can see Clayton's doing it right now. These are only like 12 foot pounds. 12 inch pounds, something like that. You can find that torque spec on the Googles, I promise you. It's like midnight, oh, yeah. so don't quote me on it. I just know good and tight for now. Oh yeah, good and tight. Good and tight. I'm pretty confident it's 12 foot pounds. Because it's a little M6 bolt, so it's not like it's gonna be no 70 foot pounds. Yeah. But if those get stripped because you just send that bolt right in there, you'll have a high pressure oil leak forever. You did leave one or two threads in there, right? And this? Yep. Oh yeah. So, so far we've learned that it will push it up. Now where'd you put that socket at and that Great ratchet? question actually. <laughs> there it is. Let's see what happens. Let's see here. It's tightening up, so that's good. So that's pretty snug. What do you think? Easy. Huh? Still going fairly easy. Okay. You want to seat that all the way and go to OEM specs, which is 50 foot pounds. Realistically, we're going to use the good old torque wrench that's right here in the elbow. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to nobody. Because it's going to be a pain to get that short bolt down to 50 because of the size of it. So if I'm gonna critique anything, John, give us another eighth of an inch on the top of that of 16th if we can clear underneath the valve cover, which I think we can. I'm not 1,000% certain, but I'm confident we can clear underneath the valve cover. Yeah, it's about as tight as you're gonna get it with a with that small size and very small amount to grab. All right, next one, grab that bad boy right there, the dummy plug. This one doesn't have anything special that it's gotta run into. Can you put it sideways for me? Like, oh, yeah. so I can do that. So there, there. Now you want to do your best to obviously keep this out of your oil rails. There we go. So I would I like what I would say to do would be to go like this and just let it. Now, 
Will this dry up before you start the engine? Pretty confident it'll start to be, it'll be pretty firm before you start the engine because now you gotta put valve covers on and everything else together. We're not starting this tonight, as much as he dreams we are. Really? <laughs> I was gonna try. Put that in there. And torque that to 50 foot pounds. So we're gonna find out. And if you're gonna be at UCC, Atlantic City Truck Meet, or Freedom Truck Meet, you'll know if we have a high pressure oil leak because oh, this okay. truck won't be doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> we appreciate you guys so very much. Thanks for the support. <coughs> oh, we yeah. got a lot of cool products coming. This is only one of them. This is one that we're excited to test, but we got some way, way cool products coming down the pipeline. Sure do. So uh, you make sure you need to sign up, like, subscribe, follow, all that cool stuff. And uh, we really appreciate you guys. Without you, we wouldn't get to build rowdy trucks. Yeah, that is for and sure. And stay here till midnight.